All right, hey, um, just wanted to show you guys how we weigh corals here in the lab, and feel free to let me know how you guys do it. So essentially what we have is a little stand. We've got a sort of microbalance here that is accurate to milligrams. We've got it a little bit more accurate right now. First thing we do is just center the bubble, make sure it's nice and centered when we put it on here. And then as far as weighing goes, all you need is a container where you want to keep the water level the same each time. So we just have a little mark on there that, that shows exactly what we should fill it up to. And essentially we weigh the same piece of coral over and over again to see the precision and accuracy. Um, and then all you need is just some nylon, some nylon string that goes up into the scale here in the bottom. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like. There we go. And it just hooks, there's a little hook up there. So it hooks to the bottom of the scale. And um, yeah, all you need to do is zero it out, put your coral in there. And uh, I think Sorrento is actually gonna show us how it's done. So for these, we have all our corals on little glass plugs, just glued on there with um, cyanoacrylate. And then on the bottom of these, we usually have a label, um, but it's really hard to tell what they are sometimes. So we've been struggling with that. Luckily, mass though is pretty good at helping us figure out which ones they are. So then you just put it in the weigh boat there and you wait. Try not to breathe on the string or the scale, otherwise you'll get some inaccurate values. It'll start to swing just because it's kind of like a pendulum down there going back and forth, but over time it'll get steady. And then you record that value <coughs> on the computer. So I just use a spreadsheet on Google Sheets I've got different information here, like the date, the unique identification number, the mass. And then from the mass, as well as the temperature of the water and the salinity, you can calculate the density of seawater and from that determine the aragonite mass. And so what was the mass of that one? 4.172. 172. And so that's probably colony 212. I have pictures of each of them so I can verify that. And 212 looks like this. And ah, as you can see, there's our 212 again. So I found that um, the best way to label glass is to have it really nice and scratched up on the bottom. There are some Sharpie markers that are meant for to be waterproof or to be, they're basically oil-based and you bake them and stuff. Those work really well. And that's pretty much it. So we've got our mask. We can put that in the computer. With the computer, we can um, tell our studio to create a bunch of plots. And so here's some of those plots I'd shown you before. And there's the new mass measurement. And you can see for this individual, it's actually pretty, pretty spot on. Though for others it's a little bit variable, which can happen when you drop the coral or maybe it's just not growing at the moment. Alright, I hope that was useful and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.